leads the software revolution in Africa and the hardware revolution in Africa. We need data centers, and we do, to even support our artificial intelligence and deep learning. It's obvious that no energy, no technology. That said, without industrialization, there will be no digitization. It is impossible. <laughs> Hashtag, it is impossible. No industrialization, no digitization. Let me take you to Pillar 4. I know you're with me. And Pillar 4. Yes, when you say this year is election year, but once election year, you say this year, you can't go for food ahead of NDC and the MPP. You can't go for food. I'm so sure that PNC 2024 election year, two of them are more. I'm so sure that we're going the likes of Chada, what I say, Alan Kujo Chamanti, a gum, what I say, also for Chabosun, I'm so sure that we're going to go to the next year. I'm so sure that we're going independent candidate in Kwa, I'm so sure so many twenty two many somebody or man pinya we be your mother me no kasi yeya nipa nineteen I said NDC and the MPP you are nipa nineteen our independent candidate na me no kasi ngofu be brave I launch some campaign message but when say campaign message ne di edu sone man fan ba na bibi yaya me ana say manifesto no edu sone man fan ba na bibi yaya me me no kasi yeye na na kwa bibi diako yeye chada what is the new force the new force president na na kwa bibi diako chadi. On so launch in a manifesto on 2024 election, and this one who is in any so say the Ghana a member of the Senate, no big to me. I hear a woman, no case or send it. You know, a 12 commandment, 12 commandment in ten law or in a virtual treat me by invitation. I will a crowd conference center. Oh, no, no, come be the account or in the manifesto. This is about or in a virtual it will be a one like baby out to me. She TV baby and you go at the mall, but me no baby come to call. I come in it down a top commandment in in some bank and I said near my bank panini woman or Cassandra Quamby dia a blue be pim or conference and time mini easy or banner de or cofa tiller ten 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 and on uncas are driving it or the be pim or conference center while painting in a gunny a callous oh minia a brand in a brand pa were painting the wrong one minia or if you tell them how are or we will cry or conference center after that me a group of one or two commandment and draw or become one same a will independence a conference center minion you go to video no and family It is this how I now come be there. We be PM at our conference center and the head of the manifesto the buy on virtual. Meanwhile, we be come and watch some of the new Kaya on Andrew the manifesto 2024 election as a new first president. Yet we have a man on the name is in a book is in a new so. Meanwhile, first of all, you come 
or say oba ministers or so no be you so twelve ministers pe and not be a juma. O be no awa kebi ew kuma or so be you so twelve ministers, twelve ministers, and not be a juma kuma and uncle be says a bit to my year juma and I say ye juma. The twelve ministries. I mean apostolic governance it's it's a title, it's some title right here. But it's the twelve ministries. They say less is more. Our government will be the leanest, most efficient in the history of African politics. We present to you the apostolic governance, one president, 12 ministers. Create a lean government that will be responsible for the 12 pillars. Now let me start. I'm going to press this, like when you go into one of this, maybe we can press one of them. And um, let's pick one. I'll take you through a few of the ministerial mandates, because I think it's very important that you know what they have to do. So we start with Ministry of Finance. Over the years, there has been a lot of judgment deaths, a lot of salary shortage, a lot of pain and pain and pain without returns we realize that not to put blames on anyone that the ministry of finance is struggling so our mandate is to make the ministry of finance become an investor and a developer for the nation building it should be their responsibility it they should be accountable for it you know we want them to be able to go to the sovereign fund the imf and ask for 10 billion for a project that would be supervised, monitored, controlled by us, our investment going into industrial, going into commercial, going into retail. We should be a part of it and we should control it. And there should be returns. We should not just use our Ministry of Finance for spending. <laughs> I mean, or church him in near more point to all the year so our castle no set your poor bar at the man no by your present or be used to twelve ministers at the age man or for can one stem and draw virtual or church him after that to whom oh come and say quite your first one called the sea because come and say crown or church him on my update quite your first one because it comes in the key cruise a bomb a bus at the same time a pony that key cruise will be to my belly at the cocoa pim oh come and say but land the banner called the first one anymore we have to remember everything that we eat from on this land is grown by the water on this land and there are so many regions that we can connect to by connecting the water so let me tell you my vision about the water connectivity infrastructure now one thing that i can see in this country lake voter is the largest man-made lake in the world why are people not visiting ghana to view lake vote in fact what have we done with lake voter i mean you have billions of dollars sitting in lake voter maybe we'll talk about it later but our national grid of water transport it's something that we should look at when we look at maybe even going here and pointing to some of these things you're seeing here okay and, and i know this brings us to the moment of the sea coming to kumasi but as you can see this is cape coast right here and this is the gulf of guinea so i, I can enlarge it for you to see so this is cape coast right here this river river pra and I'm so sorry to mention what has happened to it, but we'll get to that. River Pra leads all the way to Ofin and goes over there to Anum and goes there to Birim and to Koforidia. So here is Kumasi right here. <laughs> okay, you can see it. Now what we have to do is something called industrial dredging. You can go back and look at countries like Egypt that have used and dredged and had canals that generate 9.4 billion a year. The canals are meant for a lot of things. 
and the water transportation are also meant for a lot of things. The irrigation of this country for all our plants and all our crops we need industrial irrigation. So we need to do it one way or the other to support the system. The ferries, the cruises, the leisure, the transportation and the logistics that will move all the industrial products that we are about to manufacture will be pulled on this water. Irrigation and purification and logistics is one of the most important things in this world. Now, I can tell you that Ghana imports almost 89% to 92% of the things in this country. How did it get here? At least a fraction of 90% of that came on the water. So we need to make use of our water. It's very, very important. It will bring so much for tourism. So with the support of us connecting all this water together, we are not only going to have an industrial scale to support the agriculture, but also we will raise tourism and we will have the biggest distribution channel that connects to the coast. And the coast can connect to the world. We intend very soon to supply the world with what we're about to the another part was some can and care gonna for the a poor gun of force more than a force. Ah, a brand telling you any swadim here saying this to your born and kill ye or say I didn't in a gunner. You took me some bobosia, a cookiska at the back room. That was the part and call for your majesty that be because gunner never won. No, no, come be there because almost all back as the president and can you be crazy or how you be crazy car. It will come her and need them no who chose sick and ya dear visit a couple bosia, a cookiska. You are a sample bosia is gonna sample the group. A barisa, a minia, and quay and farm more man, and a company of who ate him so bank my dear will be a bit and sicker. It will come. But remember, this is not only about the money, the grand agenda in this is introducing African unification, is going to start from Ghana. We would be the first people to start the project USA. United States of Africa by people joining us and we welcome welcoming them through our borders but also they will be investing on our land. See, we are about to initiate a borderless continent and trade will come through, investment will come through, our neighboring countries will join us. We are about to join hands. We are about to have an entangled economy that cannot be broken anymore, that cannot be separated anymore. See, we have been regionally separated by borders and internally we have been separated by tribes. Once now you have the water connecting, we are coming together by tribes. Once now we have the borderless continent, we are coming together by countries. This is about to end. We are going to import our talents and skills from across Africa. Everywhere. In fact, Niger, I know you're watching me, Nigeria. We are coming for you. I know just you, Nigeria, if I decide that one million of you should invest in my country passport, you will bring the money in five days to Ghana. You would give us 50 billion more, and I promise you, we would trade with you. In the Ministry of Finance is struggling, so our mandate is to make the Ministry of Finance become an investor and a developer for the nation building. It should be their responsibility. It, they should be accountable for it. You know, we want them to be able to go to the sovereign fund, the IMF, and ask for 10 billion for a project that would be supervised, monitored, controlled by us, our investment going into industrial, going into commercial, going into retail. We should be a part of it and we should control it. And there should be returns. We should not just use our Ministry of Finance for spending. <laughs> we should use our Ministry of Finance for investment. We have to purchase for right purposes that brings returns.
the returns that will pay the salary of the workers of this country. And that's how it should circulate, just to stabilize our economy. I can pick maybe trade as well. Well, trade, it's, it's been like a, a, a dominant ministry for me over the past decade. And the mandate for trade is to make Ghana a, one of the biggest African exporters. The aim of having all of these 16 industrial, uh, 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 regional industrial revolution and having a development in minerals and, and, and agro processing and packaging and food and this and that is to be able to trade. Now, let's, let's think about uh, AFTA. AFTA is a big project. That's 54 countries of Africa have registered with AFTA. What were they thinking? They don't have the resources. They don't have the products to distribute among these 54 countries. Where was the product going? After that, Osan Kum, Elko Church, they saw a bar. We'll be using eight years. What you say? We'll be using 80 billion. A critic, 10 job, a 10 years, or make critic over uh, 800 billion job. No, come on, one uncle for switch. I said, When one is ready, maybe a no cassa, and a bon frate online. And we are some of the highlights about church in Chenise. So, you know, one or say a poor barman no bear the president or gun her. Quite a bit so. You see, the 12 commandments at the end of you know, some of the highlights. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. When I drop in, you be a part of the family. Many more can. Said this year 2024 election, the new womb, they said, Egg your eyes. And to be at the manifest to Badia, you better transit your bobo home, Eddie Aka, actually. This is the highlight of the Nakambi Diako, the manifest. This has started the 16 industrial, regional industrial revolution. It's supposed to bring back the 15 dormant bridges that we have left for so long and we haven't done anything. But tonight, I would like to unveil all the potential minerals, arable land, and all that we have discovered through the research within the 15 regions, the Ghanaians. Now, as you are seeing, we start by making sure we invest in all these 16 regions. That is industrial, plant, be able to refine all our minerals and then the processing plants to be able to process all our agro plants so i would be able to take my time and take you through our research on attribution reserves shows that gold iron ore gas bauxite and lithium and diamond potential of agro processing and all the arable lands in the country amounts to 2.5 trillion US dollars. This is the outcome of our research. We are determined to bring out every region's wealth. So as you can see, I mean, we have searched every region inside out and realized what sort of wealth that can be created there and projected it in the next 10 years, Ghana will have an economic output at 4.7 trillion with the 13 million hectares of arable land and all these minerals. We will also create 8 million jobs in a decade. Now, let me look at some of the places. I've already showed you Volta region. Maybe we should look at Ashanti region. Can we play the video for Ashanti region? Just saw Western region. It's one of my favorite regions. I believe that this region is going to become the Texas of Africa. This is where we are going to have the most industrial plants with the most minerals, the most agro uh, products to be processed and is right next to the coast. We can supply Africa and even supply the world. We have to take the Western region very serious. 420 something billion, it's something for us to take very serious because one is going to create all the jobs in the Western side and even bring people from other parts of Ghana. We are going into wealth creation. And I want to do this with you, Ghana. As you can see, wealth creation comes with job creation. But we produce 
200,000 barrels of oil per day in Ghana. We sell this and then, in fact, we let people extract it, go and refine it. Then we go back to Europe and buy this same product, premium, and sell our fuel at 15 point something cities per liter. All we have to do is build our refineries and we will have competitive prices and we will save the losses in the economy, the inflation in the economy just because of industrialization or for logistics. The railway network is part of our vision. Our vision is to develop a comprehensive railway network exceeding 8,000 kilometers. That is 1.5 million tons of steel. It will be very difficult to import this from outside. That's why we have our eyes on the iron ore in the industrial revolution. And some is in the eastern and some are other parts of Ghana. We will be able to manufacture our own steel and create that 8,000 kilometer railway track that will cost us billions of dollars if we had to give it out on contract and connect and build the eastern corridor the western corridor and guess what the gist of this vision is to also drive the railways to the three borders that faces ghana the one in togo the one in uh, burkina faso and the one to ivory coast when it gets to the edge we stop that is us creating new transportation and logistical path and not remain on the colonial roads that was built for us now we're making our own paths to distribute our own goods but when it gets to the border the government of that country is responsible to continue this is going to give us a railway and a speedway around west africa once every country continues from there well i'd like to tell you something it's likely when we get to the border Ghanaians will be contracted to continue the railways. Because guess what? We will have the steel, we will have the skills. Just like what the English did to Europe. Once you have the skills, once you have the funds, and once you have the reserves, and you have industrial power, you're in control. And so, this is our plan for pillar two and as you can see the water connectivity is important and the railway connectivity is coming to that now the moon needs the sun to shine yes after that you know or buy no one say yes we can highlight and send you your car after that or buy no or before i'm a big quack for air the former president the 24 hour economy and for chess say and um to me yeah over to him said 24 hours economy and gonna have Machine to me a juma twenty four hours. A e printing press. That printing press new to me to me printing a tally eight eight hours. Eight hours and it to me say what kind of or sign change them. But with all the reserves, there's one thing that I would like to add. And I know you we probably never thought of it. But why do we buy money? Why do we have to go to England or go to Switzerland to Delarue to print our money? And after we, f we fly or ship the money, before we have money. What happened to the industrial power that we're creating now? We are going to print money at home. We don't need to go to England or America to print money. We don't need to go anywhere else to go and buy food and bring it here. We don't need to pay seven times the taxes of whatever that is already in our country and someone has just packaged it. We go and buy it for premium price and bring it back here. That stops. Because we are going to create it here. Now that we have more reserves, 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 and have even cash reserves, what is next? Fellow Ghanaians, I like to say this. Pillar 5, it's ownership and control. We need this. We need ownership and control. We have to own the academies own the music catalogs and own the distribution power how are we going to do this let's start by the sports i mean first of all everybody watches football from outside every day and they, they actually depend on it but hey we can invest in the sports sector basketball long tennis and boxing and etc 
Well, this is our plan. First, we're going to build 16 multifunctional sports academies in all the regions because we don't know where Ronaldo is, we don't know where Messi is. You can find them in any of the region and therefore we're not going to discriminate. We make sure that there are academies to search for these talents everywhere in Ghana and we're going to nurture them, grow them, own them and they also have to own us. Now what happens when we build these multifunctional sports academies? You see, it attracts something. It attracts educational investors where they come to yourself to the academies and and your child might be in the academy but there is an education to support them so they just don't become a footballer without knowledge, or they just don't end up with their knowledge in their foot they have to also learn about their country and their resources and what they can create it will also um obviously Apart from the educational facilities, I believe that there could be other things that it will attract in every region to discover more talent. But the point is, we're trying to breed athletes, world-class stars, because they contribute to our economy. One artist can bring billions home in value through endorsement and many things, but we have to start nurturing them now. We have to start building all these platforms and bringing them out from Ghana and even finding more beyond our borders ownership and control we need this we need ownership and control we have to own the academies own the music catalogs and own the distribution power how are we going to do this let's start by the sports i mean first of all everybody watches football from outside every day and they, they, they actually depend on it but hey we can invest in the sports sector basketball long tennis and boxing and etc well this is our plan first we're going to build 16 multifunctional sports academies in all the regions because we don't know where ronaldo is we don't know where messi is you can find them in any of the region and therefore we're not going to discriminate we make sure that there are academies to search for these talents everywhere in ghana and we're going to nurture them grow them own them and they also have to own us. Now, what happens when we build these multifunctional sports academies? You see, it attracts something. It attracts educational investors where they come to yourself to the academies. And, and your child might be in the academy, but there is an education to support them. So they just don't become a footballer without knowledge. Or they just don't end up with their knowledge in their foot they have to also learn about their country and their resources and what they can create it will also um, obviously apart from the educational facilities I believe that there could be other things that it will attract in every region to discover more talent but the point is we're trying to breed athletes world-class stars because they contribute to our economy one artist can bring billions home in value through endorsement and many things but we have to start nurturing them now we have to start building all these platforms and bringing them out from ghana and even finding more beyond our borders ghana leads the software revolution in africa and the hardware revolution in africa we need data centers and we do to even support our artificial intelligence and deep learning it's obvious that no energy no technology that said without industrialization there will be no digitization it is impossible <laughs> hashtag it is impossible no industrialization no digitization let me take you to pillar four i know you're with me and pillar four uh, these are some of the highlights of nana kwambidiya after or launching a campaign message and I send a manifest on 2024 election, say for a man, I did see a new so so bit my year at the above mine and I'm a bonnet of our attitude. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. When I drop in, be a part of the family. I say thank you.